all the numbers that can be found on a number line is known as real numbers, including zero. Let's consider this question. Step number one, apply direct substitution. That is, plug in. And we have zero over zero. Next, step number two, apply low orbital rule. And here, we got two options. Either to use difference of two squares or to use differentiation. Let's apply difference of two squares. To do this, I'm not going to touch the x with the square root. However, I'm going to modify the x without the square root, which is at the denominator. At the denominator, I'm going to take a square root of the x. But if I leave it like this, I have modified the question. However, I will put it in a bracket and square it. This and this are still the same. Nothing has changed. Because in mathematics, if you take the square root of a number and square it, you will get back the number. That is, if you take the square root of 9 and square it, you will get 9 back. With this concept, we now have difference of two squares. And this can now take away this. And taking the limit of the remaining function, your answer is 1 over 2, which is B. Alternatively, in step number 2, we can use differentiation. Here, we're going to differentiate each variable separately. Differentiate x to the power of 1 over 2. And you're going to have this. Next, differentiate 1. And you're going to get 0. Next, differentiate x. And you'll get 1. Next, differentiate 1. And you'll get zero next take the limit of the remaining function solving and substituting carefully your answer is one over two which is the same as we got earlier next consider this question step number one apply direct substitution here we got 0 over 0. Next, step number 2. Apply low orbital rule. And the only option we got here is by differentiation. Differentiate in x. And you have 1 over x. Next, differentiate x. And you have 1. Next, differentiate 1. And here, you are going to have 0. Next, take the limit as x tends to 1. And here, your answer is 1, which is D. Next, let's consider this question. In step 1, you apply direct substitution. And we got 0 over 0. Step 2 apply Lee Hopital rule. In this step 2, we have just applied difference of two squares to the numerator, which can be represented as 2 minus x in bracket, 2 plus x in bracket. Next, we are going to modify the denominator to be able to cancel this. Here, minus will multiply 2 and you are going to get minus 2 and this minus will multiply this minus and you are going to get plus x with this modification which has changed nothing this can now cancel this next you take the limit 
of the remaining function and the answer is minus 4 and from the options your answer is C next let's consider this question step number one substitute minus 4 in the places of X here we got 0 over 0 next step number two apply low hospital rule and here we're going to simplify this function let's start by solving for the numerator only remember this two is like over one that's exactly what i've done here hence one multiplied by x and we're going to have x next x plus two multiply by 2 and we're going to have 2 x plus 2 in bracket next x plus 2 multiply by 1 and you're going to have x plus 2 next if you open up this bracket you're going to have this and for the numerator only we have this hence the answer for the numerator is this and the denominator still remains. If you simplify this carefully, you should now have this. Next, rearrange the numerator to cancel the denominator of x plus 4. Next, this can now cancel this. Next, you take the limit of the remaining function. Here, the negative will take away the negative. And our answer is 1 over 2. And from the options, our answer is A. Next, let's find the limit of this function as t tends to 1. Step number 1. We're going to apply direct substitution and we got 0 over 0. Step number 2, we're going to apply low orbital rule. This time around, we're going to use differentiation. Differentiate 5t to the power of 4 and you're going to get 20t to the power of 3. Differentiate 4t squared and you're going to get 8t. Differentiate 1 which is a constant, you are going to get 0. Next, differentiate 10, which is a constant, and you are going to get 0. Next, differentiate t, and you are going to get 1. Next, differentiate 9t to the power of 3, you are going to get 27t squared. Next, you take the limit as t, not x. We take the limit as t, tends to 1 and our answer is minus 3 over 7 which is B. Next consider this question. Step number 1. By direct substitution you got 0 over 0. Next apply low hospital rule. Here the option we got apply quadratic equation. At the denominator, we are going to leave it untouched. At the numerator, let's apply quadratic equation by factorization method. Here we got x squared. Hence, I will put one of the x here and the other x here. This x multiplied by this x will give you x squared. Next, at the end, we have 6. What are the two numbers? If we multiply them, they will give us 6. Here, we are going to use 2 and 3. Next, let's consider the middle coefficient, which is 1. What are we going to do to 2 and to 3? So that if we add them together, 
we are going to get plus one that means three we have the positive and two we have the negative the reason why we did not consider six and one is because either plus or minus six or plus or minus one cannot return one at the middle except three and two now you can see x times x will give you x squared and minus two multiply by three will give you minus six and minus two plus three will give you plus one with this this can now take away this and we now take the limit of the remaining function as x tends to minus 3 and minus 3 minus 2 will give you minus 5 and your answer is b if you apply differentiation to this function you are going to get the same answer next consider this question let's take the limit of this function as x tends to 16 the superscript plus on this 16 it's just telling you that we are approaching this function from the right hence just solve this limit as if 16 is alone in step one apply direct substitution and here you got 0 over 0. Next, in step number 2, apply Lohopita rule. Here, we are going to use difference of two squares for the denominator. The square root at the numerator, leave it untouched. However, you are going to modify the x which is free and it's going to become the square root of x. However, you are going to square it because the square root of x in bracket squared will neutralize the square root and it will become x that is these two will take away these two and you're going to have one which is the same thing as x the denominator is now represented as difference of two squares and the numerator has been rearranged in order to take care of this square root of x minus 4. Hence, this will now take away this. If you substitute carefully, you are going to get minus 1 over 8, which is a. Next, consider this question. We are going to take the limit of this function as x tends to 1 the minus at the superscript it just indicating that we approach this function from the left by plugging you are going to get zero over zero next step number two we're going to apply Lohopita rule and we're going to apply difference of two squares to the denominator which we have done here we can do this because one is the same thing as 1 squared and this can now take away this taking the limit of the remaining function and you get 1 over 2 which is option d next let's consider this question in step number one after plugging we got 0 over 0 next in step number two, we apply Lohopita rule. And at the denominator, we are going to apply polynomial by factorization. Here, at the numerator, x minus 1 remains. However, we need to find the factor of the denominator. And it will actually come in here. Before we look for this factor at the denominator, x is equal to 1 gave us 0 hence x minus 1 is equal to 0 and x minus 1 is a factor 
because it gave us zero, we're going to use x minus one to divide this polynomial at the denominator. This is the factor and this is the polynomial. Next, I will use the highest power of x, which is x to the power of three and divide x. And we got x to the power of two. Here, I'm going to write x to the power of two. Next, x squared will multiply x. And we're going to have x to the power of three. Next, x squared will now multiply minus one. And we're going to have minus x to the power of two. Next, we put this in a bracket and a minus and we're going to draw a line next this minus this and we're going to have zero next minus x to the power of two minus minus x to the power of two and you have zero here we're going to have zero next we're going to bring this down which is now here next i will use this x to divide this x and our answer is one hence here will be plus one next one multiply by x and you're going to have x one multiply minus one and you're going to get minus one next you're going to draw a line and you will have a minus next x minus x you're going to have zero next minus one minus minus one and you will get zero here is zero since we did not get any remainder this factor and this factor becomes the answer to this polynomial hence our answer becomes x minus 1 x squared plus 1 and we are going to use this to replace this polynomial and at the denominator and instead of this at the denominator we are now going to have this and this can now take away this at the denominator taking the limit our answer is 1 over 2 which is b you can check out for other videos in pre-calculus and to locate all the videos you can follow the link on the screen i will see you in the next video